what is up you guys welcome back to the channel this is just uh super basic stuff super important stuff that you want to make sure you're doing um every time you create new landing pages um i'm putting together a whole new project a whole new uh course and a whole bunch of new pages um and so what i am doing is simply making sure that these pages are in the custom audiences of what I'm creating. So the custom audience that I have for a specific category. So if I come down to this category over here, I just created a couple new pages. These are super, super important pages, this uh, monthly clients. And then, um, yeah, it's really this one. It's the monthly clients that I just created and the monthly thank you. So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm going to um, make sure that these links are inside of my custom audience. So when I go run, because these are, these are two, these are, this is a specific page that when a person opts in, that is an actual monthly client. Okay. They come to this page and then also they come to the thank you page. Now it's the thank you page that I want to for sure make sure um, um, is in the custom audience because as I go run future Facebook ads, I don't need those 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 people who landed on those page pages. I don't need them to see my future ads, right? So I want to make sure that 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 these are all in the audiences. So when I go run the ad, I can exclude that audience from seeing my future Facebook ads or my future Instagram ads. Okay, so super basic, man, but super important, and I truly believe everyone misses it, man. Um, this is something you'll you'll constantly do as you build new landing pages you'll always make sure that the link is is in the custom audience okay um so what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over to that custom audience so we come over here to audiences and i'm going to simply look for that audience and we're going to always make sure we're in the correct ad account by some for some reason it defaults and it goes back to that one but always make sure you're in the right one okay cool so this is the right one here so these um these thank you pages right whenever anyone lands on that thank you page that is a client so i want to make sure that i have right here clients okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit the title but i'm also going to add in those links so let's do this so let's edit the title. Okay, so anyone who landed on this page, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete that one and I'm gonna simply get the link for two of these thank you pages. So monthly clients, thank you. Actually, you know what? I might change that name. Let me see. Give me one second. Okay, let's, we'll leave them. Okay, so anyone who lands on this page, here's the URL right here. Okay, so anyone who lands on that page is a client. Anyone who lands on this thank you page is a client. So I'm going to simply change this one. And see, so as you add your domain in this, um, it, as you integrate it with Kartra, you'll be able to use your domain. So if you hit this drop down, there's the default one that Kartra gives everyone. So you choose your username in the setup process as you set up Kartra. Um, and as you set up your 14 day trial, you create your username. Mine was David Cantero 3P. Make sure you change that to, or make sure you, you um, when you're setting it up for the very first time, make sure you're using a name that you really want to use forever because you can't change it. Um, I wish I, I knew that prior to set mine up, you know, a year ago, um, but I can't change that name. Now it's David Cantero 3P. I wish I could have, you know, did something different, but it's all good. So that's the default one. I can always use the default one or I can use the domain one. Um, so when, you when you're on the basic plan, the basic Kartra plan, 
it's um, $99 a month after the 14 day trial. But I, I am telling you, man, I cannot encourage you guys enough to, to do the 14 day trial, do the 14 day, 14 day trial and just compare it to what you guys are using, man. Um, there's a link in the description, profit with online. Um, you could try it for 14 days after that it's $99 a month. And with the $99 plan, it comes with literally everything, but you can only use it with one domain. So this is the one domain that I have with my account. Um, and any additional domains that I want to add, it's $10 a month. So it's not bad. I mean, um, or you can go up to, up, up to the next plan, which I believe is $1.99 a month, and you can, you can use three domains. So, but it comes with unlimited pages, unlimited membership course, unlimited everything. Now, and then the emails, the, the whole price is on all these different softwares, landing pages, or I should say email autoresponders, because this is an email autoresponder as well. And that's where the cost really comes from because all the email autoresponders are the same. It all comes down to the amount of leads that you have in the system. So with this basic plan, this is the $99 plan. I can use one domain. I can have 2,500 leads in the system emailing every, every day if I wanted to. Um, and then the next plan, it's 12,000 emails. So you'll only go up to the next 199. You're not going to go up to the 199 because you have a, a couple domains. You're only going to go to the 199 a month. Uh, plan if you have 12,500. If you have more than 12,000 leads, um, 12,500 to be exact, if you have more than that, then you'll go up to the 199 because you'll need that, that, that extra space for the emails, for the, for the leads. But if you don't have up to 2,500 leads, what I would do is I would just use one domain and then, and then, um, and then let, and then use the default for everything else. So if you have multiple businesses, like shout out to my, my boy, my, my buddy, Joe, he asked this question. He commented on one of my videos saying, Hey David, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to pay the extra $10 a month for extra domains that I have. And I'm for sure not at the 199 level. So what can I do? And so what I do is I have a, a, a bunch of different domains. Like I go to GoDaddy and here's how you can, here's a, a little, a little coupon code that you guys can get your next GoDaddy domain. If you come to Google and you type in cheap domain names, you'll see a, an ad at the top, which is this one, GoDaddy, the 99 cents. So you can get 99 cents for your, for the next domain for the year. And then after that, it's, I think it's like the normal 1199 or whatever. Um, but that's, you know, at least the first year you can get that next domain for a buck. Um, what I do is I have a ton of domains. I have a ton of do domains and I just simply forward them to this David Cantero 3P. That's just how I do it. So for example, look, FB ads for beginners. That's a domain that I own. If you go to it, it goes to my Kartra page. And so all I do is I just customize the back end part of it. I don't think anyone cares about this. No one's calling me out. Hey, David, your link, you know, looks different. No, dude, no one cares. So it's like, I don't care either. I mean, as long as it gets that person to the destination, as long as I can brand my actual domain, like with digital agency blueprint, that's my domain. You go to it, it goes to a Kartra page, you know? So all I did is I customized that back end part. That way I don't have to pay you know, ten dollars for each domain a month. I'm just on the on the on the basic plan, and I'll just forward them to this one. So I'll have this David. Like for example, look, I have the David Cantero 3P, and then I just customize the back end part after the forward slash. Okay, so that saves me a you know a few bucks a month. Um, and when I get over my 2,500 uh, leads, then I'll have to bump up to the next plan. But I'm, but I mean, man, dude, at the $99 plan that I pay for now, you guys, trust me with my affiliate commissions, my affiliate commissions alone, let me make sure I save this. So make sure you go to the domain, the social real estate. Okay, perfect. Got that. Clients got that. Okay. Let me, let me, oh, it already exists. Oh, actually, yeah, because the domain. Oh, actually, you know what? This is the thank you. Bam. Perfect. Okay. That's, that's the thank you. Okay. So because I promote the system, right? Because I promote the system, I promote the software, I'm trying to get everyone and their mother on it. Here's my commissions for this month of December. So right now, depending on when you're watching this video, um, I'm cutting it in December of 2019. This is my next check. This check is literally paid out uh, in a few days. Today is, what's today, the 15th or the 16th? They pay out between the 17th and the 20th. Sometimes you'll get it on the 15th, but normally it's between the 17th and the 20th. 
It's like, dude, that for sure pays for my, for my $99 a month cost of car trip. And not to mention all the digital shit that I sell through it. It's like, dude, I've paid for this freaking tenfold. Like, so I'm not tripping on $99 a month. And then when I have to bump up to the, to the $199 a month, to, because my leads will now be over 12,000 leads, or actually, no, excuse me, excuse me. You're on the $99 plan up to 2,500 leads. If you're over 2,500 leads, then you got to go to the 199 and that, that holds up to 12,000. Okay. And then after 12,000, then you go to a higher plan, but it's like, dude, once I cross 2,500 leads and I have to go to the 199 a month, which will be, you know, here shortly, you think I care about 199 a month? You think I really care about, it's like, dude, my, my affiliate commissions alone are paying for it. You know what I mean? So, so that's super powerful, man super powerful, but that's how you can get around having to pay, you know, an extra $10 per month for each domain. You don't need to inter integrate all of them right now. Just um, integrate the, the one main one and then, and then, and then forward everything else after that. Okay. So I just copied this thank you page, right? I just copied this thank you page. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to add it over here. Okay. So now I have two I have two um, links that are now a part of this audience. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to update audience, and then I'm going to click done. And now anyone who lands on those two pages, okay, anyone who lands on those two pages are clients. So when I go and run my next Facebook ad, let's go, let's go set up a quick one real quick. When I go run this next Facebook ad, and this is a new project, new ad account. I haven't launched anything. I'm coming in 2020 freaking with a vengeance. I'm coming in hardcore 2020, and I'm going to be running, running a bunch of stuff to this new, um, to this new um, ad account and this new campaign. So if I come in here, I click on the green button, and let's say I want to run, let's say I want to run a traffic ad. Okay, I run a traffic ad. I come over here, hit continue. And then I just go through the normal setup process, right? Set up the ad. We're going to be going and taking it to a website. And then I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Detailed targeting. That's where you could put in the interest. But then also it's right here. Custom audiences. Now what I can do is I can exclude. I can exclude. So I can for sure target custom audiences so i can come over here and say okay i want to target everyone who was a webcast viewer or web class viewer okay people who have not purchased my my web class but they actually viewed it okay i can exclude i can in include them and then i i can exclude i can exclude tsre clients so people who were already my clients I can exclude them from seeing my next ad. It's like, dude, how powerful is that? Like that's major, major powerful. That's going to save me a lot of money on my Facebook budget. It's going to make my ads freaking relevant to the actual audience because you don't want to be a client and then you're seeing ads to become a client. It's like, wait a minute, David, you're, I'm already your client. Why am I seeing your ads? I'm telling you, man, time and time and time again on YouTube. And I don't know what it is, man. I don't know if YouTube ads are the same exactly like Facebook ads where you can include and exclude just like this with custom audiences because on YouTube, shout out to all these guys, man, all these gurus. I know they're crushing it. They're for sure crushing it, but I have no idea, man, why after I opt into their shit, I continue to see their ads. Like that's not, that, that's not, that's not cool. Like I'm like Onyx Sangal, one of them for sure. Billy Jean. Like, shout out to these guys. Like, I've, I've looked up to these guys. But it's like, dude, I opt into their shit. And then I'll see, like, I swear, man, on everything. I opted into Onyx and Gull's web class like a couple weeks ago. And nonstop, I've been seeing his ads for his web class. I'm like, wait a minute, dude. I already opted in. Like, how? why am I still seeing your ads? These ads are costing you a lot of money for people like us to, to continue to see when we've already opted in. It makes no sense. And that's, that's what this whole setup is. And, and, and again, I haven't mastered YouTube ads yet, 
but I would assume that it's exactly like this, I would think, where you could include and exclude, right? Because as this ad is running, man, you don't need these clients seeing the ad. So if I opt into your web webinar, Onik, I landed on a thank you page. That thank you page should have been excluded from the beginning from the ad. Therefore, no one in that you know excluded section would ever see it again. Why am I seeing it? You know what I mean? So this right here, you guys, powerful, powerful stuff. Continue to add your links. Continue to update your audiences every time you add pages, okay? Anytime and every time you add pages, you got to always make sure you take that URL to the custom audience and make sure that you're, that you're updating it. So let me make sure that there's no other audiences that I'm missing. Um, okay, so let's go to, okay, so scheduled appointments. Podcast guests, clients. Okay, those are all. Those are all right. Those are all right. Okay, cool. So, just wanted to share that with you guys, man. And this is again the Kartra system where I create everything: all my landing pages, my email autoresponder, all my digital products I sell through Kartra. My courses, all my car my courses are set up through Kartra. Uh, my video hosting, my calendar. My appointment scheduling, super, super important. And then, and then, of course, my affiliate marketing. As I go and create courses inside of Kartra, I can also have other people become affiliate marketers for me and have it all set up through Kartra. I can provide them a, their own custom URL that they can start promoting and start making money from it. So Kartra is an all-in-one service, and I provided a 14-day trial in the, in, the, in the description, and it will be pinned at the top in the post. Okay. So profit with online. There's a 14 day trial. Try it out. And once you do, man, comment below, let me know you set it up. Let me know you clicked on my link and I will give you my time for free. We'll schedule a free strategy call and I can jump on and kind of just share my two cents and help you get started. All right, you guys, I'll see you guys on the next video over and out.